Hey everyone, we are unpacking on an unforgettable nine-day motorbike adventure through Mukang Chai and Cham Tau. Let's hit the road. In day one and two, we explore around to Lake and Khao Phak Valley. The open road and stunning landscape set the perfect state for our journey. We meet the Zhao people are planting rice. The Thai people are harvesting. They grow rice to time per year, so in June, you can see some places. The people are harvesting, the others are growing rice. All creates the interesting picture and happy working atmosphere in the fields. We visit and learn traditional craft and customs from the local people. Their culture is rich and fascinating. We learn to dye fabric by indigo water, the traditional way of Thai and Hmong people here. They are very happy to show us how to make the clothes and fabrics. It's very interesting experiences. In day 3 and 4, we ride towards Mukang Chai, a place renowned for its breathtaking rice terrace. We spent two nights at La Bantan village, one of the largest beauty village. We had great time for enjoy landscape and see how the local people grow rice here. We also had a nice time for sharing food with children and specially cook the pasta for our Hmong family. is our meal today. The pasta made from the rice wine uh, he cooked. Day 5 and 6 challenging road and rain. Back on the road, every turn we were more of Vietnam nature beauty. We visit the Lao Trai village. It's located 10 km far from the center, but it's one of the most interesting places in our trip. We were lucky when past the dirty road safely and have the help from local when our bike had problem. When we were stuck on the road by the stone, this man helped us to ride the bike through the water. And when our bike was uh, stopped, there is a truck stop in the middle way and help us to put the pie. It's very lucky. Besides a hard time, we still have the fun and happy time with the local. For example, we also have the chance to listen to a traditional song of Hmong women and a nice flute of Hmong men among the sunrise terrace and mountain. It's crisp 
experience to explore and understand more the culture of Hmong people in Mukang Chai. Today we visit the local market and flower farm. So many interesting activity of people here. We can see how the local people draw the patek to make the traditional clothes of Hmong people in Mukanjai. The women is very skillful and their control is rich and fascinating. Besides that, we have the chance to see the tea farm or flower farm, rose farm, daisy, and interesting to see the way who making the mushroom. Hey, chúng mình đến với chòm cu vai trong một ngày mưa gió nhưng có trải nghiệm thật là tuyệt vời. We reached Chạm Tấu, another gem on our journey. Chạm Tấu is well known with amazing waterfall, mountains, and hot spring. But this trip, we focus to visit the Vuku Vai village. It's the highlight of the trip with amazing rice terrace view on the challenging road. Although we weren't unlucky because of rain all day, but we have nice experiences to cook for kids and elder people in the village. It's so unforgettable time. We reach our homestay in Chang Tau, Zoni home. The view here are just the test of what we come. Evening for a relaxing. We share and cook the Vietnamese and Italian food, sharing story and love. We even have the chance to listen to Thai traditional song, farewell dinner with our wonderful host and new friend. It been an incredible journey. To hit home, it's hard to say goodbye to this beautiful new place. This nine-day motorbike and adventure through Mukanja and Jangdo has been unforgettable until next time.